it's everybody's favorite time of the day once again welcome to satoshi's bitcoin chart show this is the bitcoin forecast the strength of the system the health of the network where we find out what's up with what is going down today's day is wednesday the 16th of october 2024 the year of a million transactions per second or more Experience the best of both worlds today at BetBitcoinSV.com, the best casino and sports betting on chain. Have a little flutter in private using the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Right, let's get into it. Be Satoshi, like a cowboy in the west, riding on the blockchain that they call the very best. One million strong, the transactions flying free. Just wait for the terror node, you'll surely see. All right then, oh, classic, here we go. Let's just get this uh, sorted out properly. Getting too excited, there we go. All right then, haven't seen this for a while. Oh, price in the top left saying $51. Interesting, we'll see what's going on here then. Uh, so we have got uh, Greg Coin, uh, BTC at $67,460. Uh, that's gone up a little bit. We'll just see what the price comparison chart, chart is like at the end. We've got B crash uh, 363 Fisher price cash who cares but then we've got Bitcoin the original protocol goes right back to the Genesis block it hasn't changed making it the real Bitcoin the true Bitcoin the genuine Bitcoin and the world's first and only ever digital commodity backed by the value of data sovereignty making it the most valuable commodity on earth because it's an extension of our own personal freedoms and liberties oh yeah right let's have a look at this then <clears throat> So a hash rate 0 0.07. Let's have a look at the difficulty adjustment on BTC. Oh, oh, yeah, look, second all-time high again. Look at that. Look at that. That just simply goes shows the amount of hash rate uh, being added onto BTC. Uh, with the competition, again, the you know, I'd suggest the cabal is actually trying to squeeze uh, the Bitcoin miners um, out of the race, make them go bust before they realize that Bitcoin is BSV. Because what they don't want is for the miners you know, who, who actually economically sustain the network um, to be able to like switch the hash rate over and continue uh, on BSV because they, they want rid of Bitcoin. So in order to get rid of Bitcoin, they have to get rid of the miners. And that's what they're doing by adding huge amounts of hash rate uh, onto the network, making it unprofitable to mine. Uh, but they don't mind because they can print an infinite amount of fiat currency. So, you know, this, this is what they're up against. Whew. All right. Uh, let's look at the hash rate on Bitcoin. Let's have a look at this. <clears throat> so hash rate on uh, B crash going up a little bit, but steady as I like on Bitcoin there. Uh, very nice. Uh, network nodes 0.12. For anybody who hasn't seen a network node, these are these. Oh, this is the backbone to the new global financial system, the world's first ever commercial internet. Blows my mind every time. Remember, uh, nodes create blocks and process transactions. That is what a node does. And this is what a node looks like. It doesn't look like a Raspberry Pi. Look at that. Sensational stuff. Sensational stuff. Uh, transactions 6.7 let's compare this on the market where are we yeah just 1.8 percent of 52,000 over the last 24 hours very very small compared to what we are used to there uh, block size so again nothing to write home about at the moment uh, yeah relatively small uh, let's just blow these graphs up a little bit there we go Hash rate, hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative, and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. If something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. If something is useful, it's valuable. If something is useless, it's worthless. It's as simple as that. Proof of work by network again. So BTC, Greg Coin, uh, only started on the 1st of August 2017. So that actually should really be uh, probably here, actually. Um, whereas BSV should be here under Bitcoin. Because that's what Bitcoin is. So again, trying to confuse people. Uh, whoa, look at this. It's currently 241,533 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than Greg Coin. Uh, but you're mining Bitcoin at a 28.5% loss. 
uh, comparison to Greg Coin, but it just shows you the demand for Bitcoin that miners are willing to mine Bitcoin at a 28.5% comparable loss. The demand is there, it is in front of your face. You know, it's obvious, really, when you look at the figures. Daily average Bitcoin block size by network. Oh, Bitcoin just come down there. Uh, so daily Bitcoin transactions by network, transactions per block by network, much of a muchness, really. Daily average Bitcoin fees, USD, look at that. Subcent fees on Bitcoin. Right down there, fees for uh, Satoshi's on the log curve. No, no comparison to Bitcoin there, beautiful. Daily Bitcoin feed to block award ratio. Again, we'll watch that uh, red line there very carefully, particularly in the hopefully not so distant future. Uh, that'll be a good one to watch. Uh, daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth. As Satoshi Nakamoto himself said, it is a, it is strictly necessary that the longest chain is always considered the valid one. And where's the longest chain here? The one with the most proof of work and the most data on it? Right there. It will take Greg Coin over a thousand years. Over a thousand years of uh, one megabyte block size to uh, to catch up with that. Never going to happen. Never going to happen. Uh, this is global hash rate seven days. Global hash rate twenty four hours. Oh. Swapping with Foundry USA pool. Uh, Greg coin hash rate so Ant pool thirty point five six. Foundry USA twenty eight point four. Um, other miners one point three. Um, B crash. Oh, other miners just twenty eight point four on there. Uh, Fisher price cash. Who cares? <laughs> and then we got Bitcoin. So can't really tell anything here on Coin Dance. So we'll have to cross reference this. Oh, let's have a look at the transactions quickly. Yeah, fifty thousand seven hundred fifty nine. Let's have a look at the uh, hash rate. Look at this. Uh, so Coov actually swapped places with Tal the other day. So I'm assuming. Uh, Kuvi, they increased their hash rate or Tau dropped theirs. I can't imagine Tau dropping theirs. Uh, so uh, Tau back up to uh, 30, well, basically 40% there. Very good. Kuv 37.06. QD Link 20.2. Gorilla Pool 2.8. All right. All right. Uh, Coin Carbon Cap. Let's have a look at the metrics then. So it's the blockchain growth that we really want. Oh, look at that. Over the last 24 hours, just because uh, Bitcoin's got a small amount of data on it. Usually we'd be smashing that thing, but never mind. Uh, let's have a look at this. Exchanges reserve, that's what we want. Uh, look at that. The exchanges are still cashing out. <laughs> They're still cashing out uh, massively, absolutely massively. Good grief, good grief. None of them want that shit, do they? Good grief, and straight down, look at that, straight down again. Off a cliff and down we go. Again, it's the mom and pop, mom and pop investor is going to get absolutely shafted, absolutely shafted, which is a bit gutted. All uh, right, let's have a look at the tether weather then. Oh dear, oh dear, would you believe it? What's, what's gone on there? Market cap 119.74. I've gone up to 119.9. So 7484.94. Uh, about 200 million. 200 million just gone in this afternoon. What's that? Oh, yeah, because they haven't, they haven't pumped the market for a while. But that I wonder if this is due to the uh, all the uh, press. That be uh, the Bitcoin is getting from uh, Craig's new um, High Court suit of nine hundred and eleven billion pounds. I wonder. So they're gonna have to pump the market somehow. Uh, and keep all these shit coiners happy, aren't they? Really. Uh, USDC. Let's have a look at this. Hmm, interesting. Upsy downsy on the week. Down on the month. Way up on the year, way up on the year. When did that start? Twenty-three point nine, up to thirty-four, four point nine. Google says um, eleven billion dollars. Eleven billion dollars in a year, just from out of nothing. Oh, eleven billion. I mean, jeepers! It still blows my mind. You, know, you think the crypto market? We're dealing in billions now. Not mil millions is small fry. Pfft, what's a million? 
you know, it's, it's almost as if like everyone's a millionaire these days, but you know, but they're not. We're talking billions here. It's absolutely insane, insane. Uh, right, let's have a look at the uh, short positions here. See, what's, uh, see if anything has changed since we last saw this. I doubt it. And nope, straight across the top there, just straight across the top. Uh, short ratio, 0.5%. It's because people don't realise that uh, Segwit shitcoin. People have no idea. Uh, I don't think this figure's changed. This is top cryptos with most holders. So this has got BSV in second place, but I don't think that number's actually changed. One day chart. Yeah. All right. Uh, morning run. Good grief. So you can get 1,329 genuine bitcoin for the price of one greg coin uh, yeah. oh. oh my god oh my god oh dear uh, let's have a look at my sg anon video oh what 71,000 71,000 views loving that loving that Let's have a look at the Neil Oliver. Uh, uh, still going up, 163,000 views. 163,290 to be precise. Where he mentions uh, Bitcoin there, loving that. Right, let's uh, see what's going on here then. What happened? What has happened? So look, this, this uh, was on 14th of October. So just two days ago. Um, so we've got 10th of October. This is where the claim started. So it looked like it looks like it took a few days to get traction, and then all of a sudden something happened there on the on the 14th of October. Look at that. And uh, price price still being ridden. Nice. Very interesting. A definite change there on the 14th. Maybe that's when most of the publications started advertising Craig's 911 billion pound lawsuit for uh, passing off uh, about time absolutely uh, let's have a look at this usd uh yeah so 14th of october that's when it started going up let's cross-reference that on um orange gateway uh yeah there we go look look at that so 14th, 15th, boom, straight up. Look at that. Look at that. Definitely quite easy to see that one. Straight up. Straight up. Yeah, it's one minute, a little bit. Five minute chart, all right. Uh, let's see what's going on with uh, BSV against the US dollar. Any? Uh, oh no, no significant dumps. Oh no, there, yeah, there we go. Look, there are all the dumps. Look at that. Jeepers. I don't know where they're getting their figures from, but that's dodgy as. Dodgy as that is. Wouldn't want to be. Uh, wouldn't want to be trading. Uh, wouldn't want to be trading Bitcoin against US dollar on it. Jeepers. But that looks pretty good. Got a price here of fifty-one dollars and seventy-four cents, uh, fifty-one dollars and thirty-two cents uh, in comparison to Preve and the top left. Uh, let's have a look at this then. Overall market cap two point three trillion dollars. Good grief. Uh, twenty-four hours. Uh, twenty-four hour trade volume just three point zero five percent. It's not much at all, at all. Uh, let's see if we can find Bitcoin. What's the bet? 70. Oh, oh, 67. 67. Trade volume just 2.5%. Market cap just 1 billion. It's 1 billion, like literally nothing. So, what's this? Shot up there. 24 hours. Hmm. Yeah, that's when the price started rising. So far, the suit was filed on the tenth. Started getting traction on the uh, on the fourteenth, which explains that. 
Very good. And so we've got just uh, 1.3 million asks in order to move the price sort of uh, 2%, but if it moved 2%, it would start flying. It really would. Um, what's this? BSV breakdown. So this is volume on exchanges, OKX being the largest, Coin DCX followed by HTX and then XT and Coin Exchange. But let's have a look at liquidity. That's what we really want. So Changely Pro. Changely Pro. We've got the last, largest amount of liquidity followed by Hit BTC. Then uh, Exco Exchange and uh, uh, Pionex. Is that, is that meant to be Poloniex? Maybe a new name, Pinex, whatever. Still pairs, fit pairs, yeah, yeah, all right. Mm. All right, very good. And there we go, that's the end of the show. So uh, if you do enjoy these updates, please ding your donations for your appreciation to Satoshi at handcash.io. Hope you enjoyed it. As ever, we'll leave it there. So uh, be aware, take care, stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one.